Hi friends, we used to install multiple WordPress themes and create multiple websites in a single day. And people who are using WordPress are approaching to us for multiple errors and troubleshooting and bug fixes as well. We have seen in our experience around 20% of bugs and errors are due to incorrect file permission that has been given to the hosting of that particular installation. So in this video we are going to discuss the correct file permission for a WordPress website. So if you are a owner or a developer of WordPress website, this video is actually going to be very helpful for you as it is going to enhance the security of your WordPress website and also can resolve many of your errors and bugs. So let us start what should be the correct file permission first of all we need to understand what is the file permission so in short i am going to tell you there are three types of groups uh, for file permission and self group these are self group and public and three permissions you can give to them that is read write and execute so self is you group that is you two and the public that is everybody else and the read write write and execute permission says the read permission is to ability to read the read a file write permission gives an ability to modify a file and execute permission gives the uh, an ability to execute a file so i'll show you uh, how you can do this all at your wordpress installation and your file manager uh, looks like this of a WordPress installation. There are many folders and files in your WordPress installation. So mostly uh, files are having extension as PHP and the folders are of course uh, having multiple items within a folder and there might be certain folders within a folder and there can be multiple files as well. So I am going to tell you what should be the exact file permission in your WordPress installation and you have to open and check your file manager if you are having direct access on your uh, file manager through cPanel so you can do only this check. So if you don't have access you can ask your developer to do so so that you may secure your website and uh, get rid of most of the troubles at your website so watch this video until end it is very simple but it is very effective so let us start so these are i am going to tell you first of all what shall be the file permissions so i have already told you so you can take a screenshot just in case if you want to understand much about this theory and the first permission that is called 755 it is applicable to all folders and it this means a permission to read write and execute for the user only read and execute access to the group and none at all to others so this is applicable to all folders of wordpress installation so let us go at our installation for example and all folders are should be like 755 or 750 so i have also mentioned the 755 and 750 so 755 is the most important and usable permission for the wordpress folders installation folders and we can go for next the next is 644 and it is applicable for all php file as i told you there might be certain files that are having php extension so you have to make sure the permission should be 644 for those files and this means that the users have read and write permissions and groups and others can only read the files and this will ensure that no one can no one accessing the files can alter them apart from owners 
so this is going to be a very important security patch for your wordpress website and you have to keep 644 permission to all your php files like this so i have kept 644 to all php files and you can see here it is all set so this is why our mostly our installation works very fine and there are very very less errors in our installation and people are approaching that they are not able to um, download the demo content and execute the demo website and something like that so we always used to advise them to check the file permission first of all so you make sure you are having a correct file permission at your wordpress installation and let us move to the next the next is 440 and it is very important again so it is applicable for wp config file and it wp config file you know the, it carries all the basic credentials of wordpress through which database are gets a database gets connected and all the rest of uh, information about the configurations are there so this is again a security patch for a, your wordpress website and the permission should be 440 and this means the wp config is the configuration file for your wordpress and is one of the most sensitive files so make sure the permission should be 440 or 400 protect with with the permission 440 or 400 this means even the user and the server had has no right to edit where as the other cannot even read so this is the permission for wp config file and i'll show you in the back end as well this is wp config and it is 644 in my case but yes you can make it 440 or 400 so this is just a demo installation so i have kept it 644 but you have to keep it okay so i will tell you how you can change the permission like this so just right click and choose the option change permission and you can simply change the permission like so if you are making 440 so you can keep like this 440 and even you can um, keep like 440 so in both cases it is going to work and simply save the permission so it is fine and let us move to next the final one is the 644 that is applicable for index.php file and it can be 644 or 444 so the permission for index.php is the 644 or 444 the 444 permission can be set for higher security which ensures only admin can perform any write or execute action so again you can change the permission of index.php file for uh, to 644 or 444 and again index.php file is available in the read root installation only so you can change the permission uh, here double four uh, i mean triple four or six double four okay so these are the basic file permissions that you can keep at your wordpress website to make it make it secure and more functional and fully functional you can say so this is very important topic and i believe this these permissions are really going to make your website more secure and execute the permissions and the functionality in a proper manner so let us meet in our another video in which i am going to bring wonderful wordpress resource or tip for you thanks for watching